Well, good day, twos. How's she hanging? Uh, sorry, no real major content lately. It's just uh, we're in winter here now, and I haven't even been down to the shed. <laughs> As you can see, it's not even been disturbed down there, and you know, it would need all plowed out and everything. But, anyways, pretty cold today. We got about a minus 19 roughly. I'm gonna do a grimy cold start on the truck here just just because you know nice and cold and see if she'll go I did it the other day it was about minus 22 man it fired up it, I'm like oh this isn't gonna go and then it finally uh, took off and then the pipe was just like black diesel smoke coming out I'm like holy cow it was just pouring the fuel to it so we're just do a took a little bit Here's the black diesel smoke. Not, not as bad as the other day, but he's <laughs> pouring pretty good to her. Pouring pretty good fuel in her, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or, or what, but it's still pretty black there. Still pretty black even. Wow. Black smoke's better than blue smoke. Blue smoke means that the engine's going to be tired and wore out in it. Man, it's cold here. Hands freezing already. But now it's kind of blending and probably leaning out of the air a little bit. Man, that was freaking cold. <laughs> freaking winter. It's supposed to get worse too. We're supposed to have a minus 30 wind chill feel today too. Holy cow! So I'll let that sit there and run that. I think it rose 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, holy.
that's unfortunately all I got for you today. It's just, <laughs> it's so cold out here and, and wintry and I'm kind of between stuff in our new shed there and uh, well, we sort of cleared a path down there today but it's not uh, not exactly right to the door. I got too much stuff there, the trailers and stuff. I didn't really want to go smashing through there, you know, and uh, busting things apart. So, uh, honestly, geez, I haven't been in the, in the garage here for the shed thing here for quite a while i might not be able to even get in right now so uh but yeah just kind of between things right now you know and uh winter's kind of kick-started us right in the face here and uh it's not been uh, super great for getting in here to work and stuff so we're supposed to be getting some warmer days coming though Let's see if i can get this door open oh, if i can even remember how to open the bloody lock And I'm still contemplating. Oh, yeah. You got to do it all the way the first time, though. If you don't, you'll get a block of ice on the bottom here. You get a big block of ice here, then she won't open. But uh, I do have a pretty good sweeping room here I picked up at the old uh, market from. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a comparison here for you. Hang on. Old uh, crappy, crappy, you know, crappy special one on the left. And a uh, super nice heavy duty one on the right here. Makes a big difference. This one's actually a heavy duty broom too. It's all custom made, homemade, I guess we'll say. Factory made, we'll say, in St. Jacob's. It's got real coarse corn stuff onto it. So it does really good actually. It's hard with one hand here, but this is pretty good at getting it right down, you know, so. Got to keep the snow away, but I need almost need a shovel here now too. So, but uh, anyways, yeah, we we did a little bit of an experiment here the other day. This is just the stuff for the walls, but we did a little experiment and it seemed to work pretty good. So I just have to go pick up some um, two by six stuff, which I think is an R20 roughly. And the walls, I don't know what I want to do yet. I really think I want to get them spray foamed and uh, but I want to add maybe another two by two in here because you get well another R5 per inch so roughly but I don't know I might uh, I don't know I don't know <laughs> I might just get some uh, some more of the two by uh, two by four insulation like this crap here and uh, just start doing her and uh, get some plywood and put on the on the walls here, kind of to uh, you know to put her to put her on there. And uh, I think I'm just going. I'm not going to do that on the roof. I'm just going to get the um, uh, plastic stuff put up there. Get all that boxed in. I left my uh, my gen here charging since last time. <laughs> I remember it was like. Bleh. So it should be good now. I don't really think I want to start it right now because it is so cold out here. The old bike probably won't go at all. Highly doubt it. If I can reach the choke even, it's buried in here somewhere. There. Doubt it this will go at all. Holy freaking crap. You're kidding me. It's like minus 18 out here. I might not keep going, but... Wow! <laughs> this thing's weird because when it's running and it's warm, it idles really great. But it doesn't want to idle when it's cold. I don't know why. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Shut her off. I wouldn't go for a ride, but it's freaking cold out there. I don't have any gloves, so I'm just gonna give this a quick little sweep here and uh, try to get some of the snow out of the way. So at least the door will hopefully open again. And if we do get uh, our ambition up to get some insulation for the top here. We'll get her and start stuffing her in. Get some uh, vapor barrier sealer stuff there. I don't know how I'm gonna exactly do it around the lights, but I'm sure we can figure that out somehow. I already got them kind of mounted up there, right? I don't really want to take them all apart again. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I'm just going to sweep this off of here. It's getting dark, eh? Already. Friggin' crap. 
and uh, that's why we're home. Anyway, screw that. It's too cold out here. We got her kind of cleaned anyways a little bit with just a sweeper brush. It's not too bad, but uh, holy crap, it is cold. So um, until we get some insulation and all the supplies for in there, I guess we're pretty limited what we can what we can put up for you. So it might be uh, for a good part of the winter here, only uh, video game stuff, unfortunately. So uh, until we get this established and going in here is about the best I can do. So anyways, uh, that is cold out here. Welcome to winter, it's here. Someone turned the air conditioning on too late and now it's really cold out here. But anyways, that's all right. So uh, I guess I'll have to go around the long way now because I uh, kind of blocked myself in. <laughs> I guess we could do uh, videos in the trailer because it's heated, well it can be heated. Just turn the, the gas on and fire it up and 20 minutes you'll probably be pretty warm in there. So there's not a whole lot of insulation in those things though. So there's only about two inches of insulation in those and that's about it. So they don't uh, hold much heat very good. Be all right with the uh, slide out clothes though, but uh, that makes her kind of kind of tight. <laughs> but uh, anyways, got to rock on. Sorry, right, that's it. That's about all I can do for you for probably a good part of the winter. Um, other than little things like this and maybe little day trips here and there in the weekends or whatever. Uh, but that's about it. So nowhere to work, nowhere to film, <laughs> which kind of sucks. So, but uh, anyways, thanks again for watching. And, you know, sticking in with me and stuff. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, watching me and stuff and. Uh, it's just hard right now this this year so but uh, we'll get her figured out once we get some uh, insulation in there and some heat in there and uh, get something going but a uh, little update on the uh, uh, shoe we're building I was building for the uh, jumping jack it's pretty good it's all come together I haven't got it on yet um, I had to uh, figure out how to make a round hole into a square hole so we've got that figured out but I haven't done that yet I really wanted to bring my press up to the shop here and uh, show you how to do that. But um, there's a thing called a broaching tool we have to use and it basically starts round. And as you get up to the top, it goes square. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And as you press through it, progressively makes a round hole square. So it's pretty cool. You just have to start with the right size round hole and then uh, press, 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 press. And it's really sharp. And it's just basically a hunk of metal. It's really cool. I should have showed you, should have brought up and showed you, but that's uh, okay. Uh, but if I can get a nice little path cleared there and uh, maybe a little bit of heat in that building, we can uh, bring up our press which is fairly movable it's not that bad and uh, start, see if we can press some round holes into square holes so and uh, basically that's for the bolt to go in with the little square on the uh, other side of the bolt that kind of holds it as you're tightening it kind of thing because they have a countersunk flat head on the bolts right so it's nothing to grab to although I don't know if it really matters if you put like a regular hex bolt on it, it would just get kind of smashed all up maybe, but uh, from, you know, bang, 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 bang as you're, you're pounding it. But anyways, it's really freaking cold out here and I really want to go inside because it's warmer in there. <laughs> so anyways, we'll catch you all later. Thanks again for watching. I do apologize again. That's is all I got right now. So it's a little bit of this and some gameplay stuff and that's about it. So, uh, but anyways, we'll get her back eventually here. It's just going to take us a bit of time. But uh, anyways, thanks again. Catch you all later. Have a good night.